Today we're going to get these raised beds set up for some irrigation. Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog Farm. Christmas holidays are over and uh, it's time to start getting ready for spring and get all of our raised beds set up for irrigation. Our plan this year is to have 10 raised beds total for the garden. Uh, last year we just had one or two, kind of got our feet wet with it and now we're going to really significantly expand with 10. And one of the um, big issues was just making sure that everything was getting watered. Um, there are so many things going on at the farm that you just don't get time or the, you know, you just forget or whatever. So we're going to put in an irrigation system, a drip system in each of the raised beds. One thing that I also found is that uh, each bed has a different watering rate. I did a lot of testing and I'll just show you a quick um, setup for one of the beds that I did test. And I found that you always want a little bit more water in one bed than the other. They're not always all the same. So my plan is to set it up so that each bed has its own valve and can get um, water supply differentiated between the beds. So I've gone and bought a lot of the fittings from the hardware store and gotten it ready. And so now it's time to do some trenching for this low pressure system and uh, get moving. The plan is that the system moving from bed to bed will be out of PVC pipe. I'm just going to use half inch pipe. Um, very flexible, very simple. I'm really not moving all that much water. So coming out to the garden, we'll probably use a one inch high pressure line uh, and that'll be coming in the future. My plan is to work backwards from the beds on the water system. So um, just in this springtime, we'll probably go back from the beds to a hose where we'll have the um, pressure reducer. But after that, then we'll go ahead and trench up to the, the big water supply and improve it. So today it's um, about six inches down in the ground, right between the beds so that I can go to the um, bed with the water supply for each one of those things. So we'll get started and uh, come along for the ride. First of all, let's go, let's go take a look at that test piece and then um, we can take just take a look at what we've got going on in these uh, raised beds with the um, low tunnels. They're just doing really well for me. And I'll show you the difference between one that's covered and one that isn't. So there's a look at our first covered bed. Uh, I've got parsley and romaine lettuce in there. Gave up on the tomatoes and the peppers. It just doesn't stay warm enough here. I've already... Um, made one cutting on the parsley and got a nice little batch of that that was dehydrated and put in the spice cabinet inside the house and uh, this romaine lettuce here is coming along really nicely it was planted first and now take a look at this lettuce you can see how nice and tall these pieces are getting and now I'll walk over here to where I uh, don't have a low tunnel and you can see this lettuce is growing nicely, this romaine, but it's not near as good as the uh, low tunnel lettuce that's growing in there. So I've got a decision to make about whether I want to put a low tunnel on this bed or just see what I get. And then if we look at our second covered low tunnel, sorry, they're all covered. Um, that's why they're a low tunnel. You can see we got this leaf lettuce and man it is just going bonkers so it's going on you know eight to ten inches tall and we're having salad for with our dinner just about every night and we're going to have to give some away uh, just with everything that's going on there and then it, this bed is also sharing some dill and uh, it has just taken off i've made one clipping of the dill and it's just growing like crazy so uh, it's doing really well. Well, there goes the Hay Express. Miss Diane's cooking off doing something. 
so there the uh, dill is just doing super well so um, I'm gonna cut some more of that today and process it just to what I've noticed is as soon as I trim it back the dill just explodes so the plan is to trim some off of there and uh, get going with it the other thing um, I like you to see on this bed you can see the drip irrigation system sitting in it I use some half inch line that has emitters every 18 inches and I found that it just wasn't sufficient I wasn't getting good water coverage all the way across the bed uh, and just really didn't like it so I've uh, been looking at a lot what a lot of other people have been doing and what they've been doing is putting a half inch header across the short end of the bed and then running quarter inch lines with um, a higher density of emitters along the length of the bed so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a, a header across there and then I'm gonna put a quarter inch line 10 inches apart with the emitters spaced every six inches so when I've got real heavy density in the bed like with lettuce and other things it'll do really well so there's a quick look at the beds and um, time to stop looking at the fun stuff there go the uh, Great Pyrenees they are really super good watchdogs uh, so I'm gonna get digging and start getting down into this trench so that we can get some PVC in here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know the plan is um, it's it's hard to see but right over here we're gonna have a, a large path that our buggies can drive through so we can service the beds and right about over here is where the low pressure water system is going to start it's going to come in between the beds and I only have one side up so far there's a method to my madness I'll tell you in a minute and then it's going to go all the way up to where this bed is now next year what we'll do is along this fence here we're going to go install another five or six um, raised beds and then we'll put a, a couple more on the other side so at the end of the day we'll have about 20 beds so what I'm going to do is cap off the line right here and then later on it'll pop across we are also sorry for the quick move there we're also going to along this fence line here plant loofah probably next year our goal this year is just to get rid of all the vegetation but we're gonna also have a low pressure water system uh, along the fence as well so when I set things up over here I'll go ahead and leave room for that to come out and then we'll also have more low pressure popping out over here to water where our um, watermelon and pumpkins are gonna be so um, we'll get started with these raised beds and see where we go from there. Well, I had to take the camera in for a bit. We had a bit of a squall of rain, so I went ahead and stayed out here and dug, and you can see the trench as it moves forward. So this dirt is not hard digging. It's uh, pretty sandy. I just need to get down the shovel and go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this trench all the way up to the uh, end of the raised beds, and then I'll go between the two of them, and I don't yet have these four beds that you see along here. Um, the rationale is that we'll go, this leaves us access for the tractor so we can go ahead and just dump dirt into them. So we'll put these last four beds in one at a time, try and save our backs a little bit and let the tractor do some of the work. All right, the main trench is in, and we're gonna go ahead and start digging the cross trenches from bed to bed. Well, the wind and rain keeps coming in gusts, so we'll see how this goes. About the minute I set up the camera, it comes on in, so we'll get started. So this is where the pressure reducer is gonna come into the line. So this has a hose threading, 
the hardware store only had three quarter inch pipe so I popped a reducer into it and go to the half inch system. You, you can see I've got pipe going down to the beds now and I'll show you how it looks going from bed to bed and right now it's a lot a whole lot of uh, rinse and repeat as I go from bed to bed. So here's one of the four ways I've got a bed to this side and to this side and each piece pops up and I'll show you the, the valve that's going to go in here later. I'll have a ball valve and then my header will run along here and the quarter inch drip will run all the way to the end. But I've got this, these two beds all the way done. I've got pipe on either side coming up into the bed. And the reason you see them inside the bed is next winter when I put these low tunnels on, I can't have pipes sitting on top of the beds or in the way. So this way it can all come through there and uh, real little probability of freezing, which honestly doesn't happen that much here in South Carolina. So there it is, and I'm on my second set of beds, just fitting it up, going from bed to bed. And uh, for the rest of this, since I don't have the beds on the left hand side I'm just going to measure out and uh, I'll just go ahead and move the beds to fit when I go put those in so here we go